Hi, I'm Elliot Chun from the BestBuy.ca plugin blog. I'm installing the MyFox home alarm system. Super easy. I've got the link already plugged into my standard household outlet here to get that powered up. I've installed the iPhone or iPad app here as, as I'm using it on my iPad mini, and it's now just installing and going through an update before I'd be a first time user installing MyFox. So we've got the link updated. You can see here it says installation completed right here on the iPad using the MyFox security app. Going to hit next. Congratulations, your link is now up and running. That's fantastic. It is connected to my home wireless network, which is fantastic. We will now proceed with the siren installation. This might get loud, so let's see how that goes. This is literally my first time doing it, so you're getting authentic experience here. Remove the back panel from the siren and remove the tab between the batteries. Let's give that a try. Well, they're going to follow the pictures, which is great. There is actually an open and close here. I don't know if you can see that, but to open it is to the left and to close it is to the right. So I'm going to go to the left and open it. It says to pull the tab and voila, looks like we have some activity happening here. Fantastic. I love how my Fox has put in some batteries already. This is great because I hate it when you buy a product and there's no batteries in there or things aren't charged up. So. There are 4D batteries inside of here. You can see size D, four of them. Again, it lasts for about a year. I've mentioned that before. So I've removed the, the tab between the batteries as well, which is great. So I'm going to take that sticker right off. We don't need that anymore. So it says here, remove the back panel from the siren and remove the tab between the batteries. I actually thought it was this orange sticker. In actuality, although I don't need that, I look closely and this is the actual tab I need to take out. So I'm going to pull that and that'll activate the siren and it knows then you could hear from that noise that it's been activated. So that's awesome. Now it's asking me to close it. So I'm just going to simply align the notches here wait for that to engage and then close it to the right. There we go. And now I'm going to place this down and hit next. Installation complete. Congratulations, your siren is now up and running. Awesome. You know what? I do have neighbors, so I'm not going to worry about discovering the sounds, but I do trust it's going to be loud. I'm going to hit next. So this is pretty awesome. I'm done here, which is awesome, and it's showing that basically I'm, I'm done. This thing is now armed. Everything is okay. I've got right next to it here the key fob badge. On the back here, you've got several commands here to control the device. You've got the unlock, because it knows that I'm here at home. Right next to it, you've got the lock function. Over here, you've got the, you know what? I'm not really sure what that is, so I'm gonna look that up and let you know. And then, of course, you've got the siren. If you hit that twice, the siren's actually gonna sound. So we don't wanna do that right now. Uh, let's just see what's happening here. So that's actually night mode, so that's a good thing to check it out. If you wanna check out locked, the alarm will activate in 30 seconds. We don't want that, so I'm gonna go back to unlocked. Pretty neat, the sound effects. I am liking the user experience here, and I don't wanna hit the alarm again. Uh, I don't want the neighbors to, uh, to be alarmed by my alarm. Now, one thing I do love about MyFox, having a chance to uh, read up and explore a little bit about the device is the fact you don't need to have a 24 seven security system and pay those monthly fees to like one of those major national uh, security companies, which is a, a plus. However, they do actually offer a 24 seven service for a uh, monthly fee. If you do actually like having that peace of mind, some people do like having the additional third party monitoring support, which is also a, a neat feature. And then I think the biggest thing for me is having codes. So imagine having people come over to your place or maybe even me myself with a brand new alarm, forgetting what alarm code to punch in. With this key fob here with, with the app, you don't need that because it'll detect when you're actually at home. You can program several users in your family so it knows who's who and identify who's been home and also track when someone is at home. And then also very important, I think, in part of the whole security experience is having something like a camera. So then not only do you know that there's perhaps some trouble or activity happening, you can actually see what's going on as well. And the difference between this MyFox security camera compared to others on the market is the fact you've got this privacy feature, which is super fantastic. Again, you keep the creep factor down when you have guests over especially, so conceivably you could put this in your bedroom if you so wish. 
There you have it. Quick and easy setup for my Fox Alarm. I would say all in all, that was actually less than the advertised 15 minutes that they say it'll take to set this up. So definitely two thumbs up to my Fox for the ease of installation. Literally just needed Wi-Fi. You can see the actual siren is armed and ready and dangerous. So uh, it is wireless, which is awesome. The only thing that I had to plug in was the link, which connects to my Wi-Fi home network. And then with this app, it's super easy to, easy to use. So there you have it, the MyFox Home Alarm System. I give it a definitely a two thumbs up. It is a Works With Nest product. Definitely make sure you check out bestbuy.ca slash plugin for more details to read up on all the features of MyFox in greater detail. I'm Elliot signing off.